Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll just continue with the file and directory permissions. So uh, now let us see how we can uh, set the perm, uh, you know, we can represent the permission. So that is the permission can be set from zero to seven. So first is zero. So zero uh, is the is nothing but it means uh, no permission. We'll see how we can make use of this uh, numerical uh, permission, the 0 to 7 and how we can set the permissions in the Unix. So 0 means it's no permission, that means it's uh, simply like this. If you see something like this, uh, we, we had uh, seen here, like um, for example, when I say ls minus l, you can see all these things. When we, when we see this last three sets, that is hyphen, 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 that means there is no permission set for the others. Okay. So, that is what this means, uh, 0 means hyphen, 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 then 1 means only the execute permission will be given. So, that is hyphen, hyphen, x, ok. So, 2 is write, so that means hyphen, w hyphen, 3 means, uh, 3 is nothing but sum of the 2 plus 1, ok. So, that means uh, here you can see 2 plus 1 makes 3, that means it will have um, execute plus write permission, that is hyphen w x, ok. Then 4 is nothing but which represents uh, only the read permission, ok that means r hyphen hyphen 5 means it is the combination of uh, 4 plus 1 that is uh, we know 4 is read so it will have read and plus 1 1 means execute so r hyphen x that is what 5 represents then the sixth one will represent uh, 4 plus 2. So, the combination is like this 4 means read permission and plus 2 is nothing but write permission. So, you can say read write hyphen ok and finally, the seventh one means all the permissions that is the 4 plus 2 plus 1. So, this will have all the combination that is read write and execute. So, the, uh, this is the way of representing the uh, permissions 0 to 7. So, we have uh, two types, one is the uh, two types of modes, one is the absolute sorry absolute uh, mode and another one is symbolic mode. So, how we need to set the um, permission is for that we will be using a command called ch embody change mode. So, this is mainly used to change the permission of the files ok. So, for example, now let me clear the screen here I have a file called ls uh, minus l we will say names. So, you can see only the read write execute from the here to here we know it is for the owner. So, only the read and write permission is given to the owner whereas, the other users does not have any permission like group user or else the others does not have any users any permission sorry. In order to make that uh, we will just say change mode, change mode will change the permissions of the given file. When I say 777, seven, seven, we know 777 seven, seven means it is uh, we knew here 7 is nothing but uh, where uh, it represents read, write and execute. So, 7 just 7 means it is the permission that is given only for one, the 7 means it is for owner, the next 7 is for the group user and the other next is for the uh, others. So, when I say 777 or else when I say 700 that means this the permission will be set like this when I give names and uh, when we see it again you can see the read write permission is given to only the user and others will have no permission. So, that is why it is called 700 when, when I say c ch m o d and I say 777 and gi I give the file name you can see all the permissions set for all the users.
that's what 777 so this is the way of uh, this is nothing but it's absolute method absolute mode of setting the permission so we'll we'll see in the next tutorial how we can make use of symbolic mode of uh, setting permissions so hope uh, this tutorial was useful uh, if there are any queries then please do let me know and uh, thank you very much for watching